Hello. Uh, I said in this episode that we were going to create some tiles, and so we shall. But in order to create tiles, we're actually going to model them in Blender as little teeny rooms. So I've just started up Blender, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this cube that I have pop up as a default cube. It's just a mirrored cube. If, you're, if your thing isn't in the middle, hit, can, hit Shift C to put it in the middle, and then we're going to go ahead and add ourselves a cube. Uh, but we want it to be a little bit smaller than it currently is. So we could hit S and scale it, but we actually want to avoid scaling the mesh. Um, instead, we would like to scale the points. So we're going to hit Tab to open up Point Edit. Then we're going to hit S to scale and 0.5 to scale it by half. Now it is one unit wide and one unit deep and one unit tall, and on each of the edges is half a unit. Um, so uh, the, the default cube has a radius of one, meaning it's actually a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. Uh, which is okay. We're not we're not going to be too picky about it. So in order to turn this into a room, uh, we're going to a highlights everything. We're going to go ahead and move it upwards. Uh, grab y point five. Oh, is it z? Grab z point five, and that'll just move it so that the floor of our room is at the zero point. And now we're going to hollow this thing out and turn it into a room. We don't actually need it to be full height. So let's go ahead and grab z negative point five to bring it down a little bit. Then we're going to hit E to extrude, and we'll click to put the extrusion right on top of the original one, then hit S to scale, and we're going to scale it in. Uh, let's go ahead and actually use a number, so type in 0.1. Oh, we actually want it to be, uh, hit escape to undo that, and then hit S, 0.9. There we are. Then we're going to hit E to scale it again, and we're going to just scale it down this time. Um, we don't really care, uh, 0.4, uh, negative 0.4 is what we would like to do. That way we have 0.1 on all edges. Now I happen to know that uh, when you extrude and move in, um, it usually ends up... Now I think that'll work out okay in this in this one case. We'll find out if the normals are backwards or not. We'll quickly, we'll quickly know. But we want to create something like a door, so let's go ahead and hit uh, Control R to create loop cuts and I use the mouse wheel to create two loop cuts and click. Now you can move the loop, loop cut, you can move these around um, but I'm gonna go ahead and right click and that'll leave me with two doors right along the x-axis in the right right exactly where I want them. Uh, but we're gonna do the exact same thing here in the other direction. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering what kind of magic I'm doing to make them go in a specific direction, they just do. Uh, you'll get used to how it works uh, if you if you play around with it a little bit. But we don't want these to be scaled like this, uh, so we'll right click, but then we're going to hit S to scale, then Z to scale along the Z axis, and then we'll just move the mouse until they're scaled to something approximately like what we would like to see, like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these, and we're going to hit X. Oh, uh, that was stupid of me. I hit Control Z to undo all of that because I only selected the outer loops. I didn't create any inner loops. You see, there's no loops on the inside. So um, I should have created these loops before I did any of the cutting. Um, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we only need to uh, uh, we only need to recreate the cuts on the inside. It's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. So select those and then hit, uh, is it control? No, it's not. It's, oh, no, that was control Z. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I've forgotten how to select, oh, right click to set them in place. Is it alt? Alt right click? No, alt right click. Okay, so it's alt shift right click to select, uh, to add a loop to the ones you're editing. And then we're going to scale it along the Z axis, so S, Z, and then just an arbitrary amount until it looks decent. Now keep in mind that the inside and the outside are slightly different in terms of their heights, but that's actually not too bad. We can go ahead and grab the inner loop by hitting Alt right click, and then the outer loop by hitting Shift Alt right click. And then we can hit Scale, S, Z, and then zero, and that'll bring them to the same height. And we're gonna do the same for the top. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete some faces. We'll delete that face, and we'll delete that face. Uh, and I'm just uh, right clicking while holding Shift to select vertexes, it's very straightforward. And then we hit X and select faces. And we have created something akin to a door. So now we just do some cleanup by selecting these and uh, hitting F. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and line up 
Uh, oh, since I deleted it, it's too late to do that. So control Z until we get those back. There we go. Because these are actually out of sync. Uh, we want to scale X zero. Oh, uh, no, sorry, it's not X, it's Y. Scale Y zero. And then the same one over here, scale Y zero. Nope, I hit X again. Uh, scale Y zero. There we are. And that way the inside and the outside are going to be the same. Oh, I have royally screwed that up. I don't even know what I did. Uh, scale X Y zero. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and just delete the same faces that we did before. So select them, hex, faces, and then select the outer ones. Uh, I probably should have done it the same way I did it last time, but I was trying to be clever, but I'd have to turn on... Um... Come on, model. There we are. I'd have to turn on see-through models. I don't really feel like it. Select them, um, select them, um, X faces. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, and close these doorways by hitting uh, shift and right clicking on all of them, not that one, and hitting F to create a face. You want to do this one face at a time because it's not very good at guessing where you want the faces to be if you select a lot of points. And then do the same on the far side. go. So we now have a room. And if we don't like the exact height the door is at, we can always select it and move it down, but uh, I think that'll work for us right now. So I've just created a very simple room, and uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. We're going to go ahead and put this room into the game. So hold on while I do that. Alright, so Unity impor imported it. Here it is. The room that we were looking to make. Let's stick it in here and make sure that the normals are correct. Oh good, the normals went the right way for once. I almost always have them backwards, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, set next time we're going to create some variants on that room, just here inside of Unity. We're not going to do any more mesh editing. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create some custom tiles that we can use to replace the tiles that are blank. And that's it for today.